Okay, so here we're back at our, our shoes under $200 uh, collection. And if you're astute, um, you may have noticed this new sidebar in here, this shop by. So I'm inside a collection and I could choose to shop by um, color or material. So here I'll pick black. And I'm still in my collection, but it's only showing black shoes. This is fantastic. Um, you know, it, it's a great way to be able to sort through products, make like, life easy. Um, but you know, one of the things I mentioned earlier that sometimes bothers people is you know, collections aren't like categories, specifically in that you can't nest collections, which you know, initially creates issues for people because they're used to these nested collections. But we have a much better option, and that's you know, filtering by tag. And here I've switched to um, supply theme. It's a free theme in the theme store, and we'll, we'll talk about that um, later as well. But it has this as a feature built into it, this filter by tag thing. So let's look at how we set that up. You know, I've got my products in here, and you have to come up with um, a consistent taxonomy you're gonna use. And you can't just randomly add tags to things because you know, the, this theme will, is automatic. It will spit out all of the tags on a product. So you need to be consistent. So let's pick our, you know, this pair of shoes. Cool kicks. You know, and here it's the shoe. Um, a pretty typical taxonomy I like to use is color material. You know, when you're dealing with clothes, that's very easy. Um, and on these shoes, they're black. So I've already tagged them black. You know, and they've also got, maybe they have gray in them. You could do multiple tags, so we could say gray. And one of the things that, um, that helps with uh, keeping that consistent taxonomy is that Shopify auto suggests stuff for you, you know, that you've already used. So here I can see these shoes are leather. I'm gonna start typing my material. And oh look, leather pops up as a suggestion. Click it. And now I can, you know, if I select filter by leather, it's gonna pop up. So let's do save. When I go back, we'll refresh this page. And let's pick leather shoes. Aha, and there are my cool kicks, black and red leather. Which is really nice, it's very helpful. Um, you know, anytime we can make it easier for customers to drill down to find what they want, um, make it easier on, on the store owner to be able to, you know, have these products sort and appear is great. But there's another thing we could do with tags too. Uh, let's see, collections. So let's say I wanted to make a collection uh, called leather shoes. Leather shoes, we'll call it leather shoes. And we'll say sneakers made with genuine leather. Now we're gonna say automatically select products based on conditions, because this is a smart collection. Products must match. Uh, we'll do all conditions, uh, though since we're only choosing one, it doesn't matter right now. And we can always revise that later. Product tag is equal to leather. It even auto completes it for me. So I click save. And now, you know, without really you know, much effort on my part, I should have a collection of leather shoes that updates automatically with all my leather shoes. So let's take a look. Ah, there we go. Three shoes, all with leather. It works. Very cool. Um, and you can also, you know, you can sort um, in navigation that way, uh, in searches, in collections. Um, and even for, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be for the, the customer. You know, if I filter products in my own store, I could do it by tagged with. You know, so I could use uh, in some internal taxonomy for that. It makes life easy. Um, but again, the key here is just to you know be consistent. You know, come up with with a system that you'll use for your products, and that's going to change depending on the store.